Just when you toughed, it was definitive. Fernando Alonso has got his podium place back. Aston Martin decided to ask the stewards of the meeting to review the 10-second penalty for Alonso again. And with success, after a long time, they decided to remit Alonso's penalty. So George Russell need to give the trophy back to Alonso. Russell said earlier that the extra penalty was not fair for Alonso. Please like and subscribe if you like this content and want to stay up to date with all the F1 news. How hard is it to manage Max Verstappen during the Grand Prix in Jeddah? Red Bull told Max that Checo had the fastest lap. They asked both drivers to slow down a bit and that they didn't want to see a new fastest lap. But in the final lap, Max went for it, took the fastest lap, and Checo couldn't counter it anymore because the race was over. Is Max a good team player? How will Red Bull manage this during the season? Because things seem to heat up a bit between Checo and Max. Fred Vassar admitted that Ferrari need to make changes, because he sees that they are not quick enough. He believes in this car, but has not enough potential to attack Red Bull. He also told that Ferrari isn't able to get the maximum out of the car. During qualifying it went better, but Ferrari has to work on getting the maximum out of the car for every session. Is this Ferrari a race-winning car in 2023? Volteri Bottas had a horror race and finished last. Looking for an explanation, Bottas told the press that it must have had something to do with the that damage that he sustained early in the race. But if you look at the timesheets, Joe was a lot quicker during the whole weekend, so it seemed that Bottas' pace was off during the whole weekend. Will he bounce back or will Joe stay the stronger one? Carlos Sainz was pretty surprised by the lack of pace that the Ferrari had in Jeddah before the weekend and after the practices on Friday. He expected to be much closer to Red Bull, but even Mercedes was quicker than Ferrari. Sainz told the press that especially their second stint on the harder tire was not good. How do you think that Ferrari need to turn this around? Otmar Schaffnauer was overruled by the Alpine engineers. In Jeddah with 15 laps to go. Schaffnauer wanted to challenge the Ferrari cars, who were in front, but he was overruled by the engineers, who decided to turn the cars down and save the car, and make sure that the tires could last. According to Schaffnauer, Alpine was conservative on the tires. What do you think about this? What do you think that the problem is with the W14 by Mercedes? There is a specific thing that makes the W14 difficult to drive. According to Lewis Hamilton, that specific thing causes the bad performances. What the specific thing is, is something that Hamilton doesn't want to share with the press. Hamilton admitted that he never had this before in any F1 car, and the problem is mainly on high speed. Is the bouncing still an issue or is it something else? Carlos Sainz demands improvements from Ferrari. He told the press that the first two races were on two completely different tracks and that the Ferrari is not good enough. According to Sainz, the pace just and isn't that there, there is a lot of work to do for the Scuderia. Sainz doesn't expect major improvements on a short term because R&D takes a lot of time. How long before Ferrari wins a race this year? Do we believe Mercedes team principal Toto Wolff? He said to the press that he is fine with Red Bull Racing's dominance. He told them, you have to work so hard to get successful in F1, and if you win you really deserve it. It might not be the best for the show, but obviously Red Bull has delivered the best work, and we did not, so we have to fight back. It makes the sport special. George Russell is optimistic about the W14. He told the press that he was able to get the maximum out of the car in Jeddah. Finishing in P4 was the maximum. According to George, he believes that Mercedes made a step in the right direction and the car felt much better. He was enjoying himself in Jeddah. How different is Lewis Hamilton's take on the W14? Lewis told that he doesn't feel connected with the W14. Interesting, isn't it? Changes at McLaren. On the technical side McLaren is making some changes. James Key will leave the team and will be replaced by David Sanchez who is coming from Ferrari because of the regulations. Sanchez's first day at McLaren will be in January 2024. There are some more changes, but the leaving of James Key is the biggest change. Will it make a difference on short term? Max, Max Verstappen, Verstappen is changing. changing.
After watching footage from Max, his start and the Grand Prix in Jeddah, it was good to see that he drove very carefully during that first lap. It was interesting because Max is quiet and aggressive driver. It surprised me that he didn't took any risk. Still, after 25 laps, he was in P2 after starting in P15. So the comeback was very strong. But didn't it surprise you that he drove so carefully during that first lap? Mixed signals from Mercedes. Toto Wolff said that he is not ruling a radical chassis change to the W14. Earlier he said that they won't do that. It's all possible when the team is unable to make sufficient aerodynamics gains with the current car. Later he downplayed his word by saying that changing the chassis would not fit in the budget of the cost cap. But changing the way the aerodynamics work is perfectly within the scope. If it's up to Wolff, what do you think that will happen? Lando Norris can live with the changes on the technical side of McLaren. In a tweet he said from team changes to major infrastructure upgrades, every single one of us is working flat out to get McLaren back to the top. Do you believe that Norris can help bringing back McLaren or does McLaren need a more experienced driver? If Lewis Hamilton would be considering leaving Mercedes, there is no place for him at Red Bull Racing. Christian Horner is very happy with his two drivers and their commitment to the team. Horner is not looking to change things. But how will this evolve during the season? Checo's contract ends at the end of this season, and slowly there seems to be more tension between Max and Checo. Would Hamilton be a good fit next to Verstappen? Not everything is going wrong. According to Fred Vassar, he said that Ferrari gained more distance to the other teams, except for Red Bull Racing, Aston Martin and Mercedes. Everyone at Ferrari needs to stay calm. According to Vassar, Jetta was an improvement. According to the team principal of Ferrari, do you believe him?